Hello, I'm Dr. Deepti and we are looking at different concepts from maths under the heading D creations mathematics. We are looking at linear algebra and that too at vector spaces. In the last video, we started looking at examples of vector spaces. If you recall, we first discussed what is a vector space. We also talked about field of scalars. Now we know that vector space is defined over a certain field of scalars. We looked at the axioms that a set has to follow so that it is proven that it is a vector space. Then we saw some typical examples of vector space such as set of real numbers, over real numbers, set of complex numbers, over real numbers and set of complex numbers over complex numbers. We also saw an exception where set of real numbers is not a vector space over field of complex numbers. Then we looked at set of polynomials with complex coefficients in and the polynomial is in variable t. And here we saw that it is a vector space and here the zero vector was just a zero polynomial. All the coefficients if they are zero that gives you a zero polynomial. We saw that this is also true for polynomials with complex coefficients but having degree less than or equal to n and I remember mentioning explicitly that this term less than or equal to is very crucial if you just say degree n that is not going to be a vector space. We also did see an exception in this sort. Now let us move further and see some more examples. So, the set of all real n tuples such as a1, a, I mean look at this. So if you have n numbers listed in this manner, it basically constitutes an n tuple. Earlier we saw just r. So it was a one tuple because it had only single element. If it was r2, it would have two elements and so on and so forth. Now it is a vector space of a field of real numbers and in fact it's also called n-dimensional real coordinate space. But as is logical it is not a vector space of a set of complex numbers. Now the set of all complex n tuples is also a vector space. In this case it is a vector space over the field of complex numbers. And this is the n-dimensional complex coordinate space. Note we are not talking about field of real numbers separately because real numbers are included in complex numbers, isn't it? Now if, if you want to look at a geometrical example, set of all arrows in a plane or if it's 3D, say in space, these form a vector space where if you recall there is parallelogram law of addition of vectors. Similarly set of all complex matrices M and uh, M rows and N columns okay so M by N that is the order that is also a set of that is also a vector space if the usual addition of matrices is defined. We have covered matrices in great detail. Those of you who are not very confident, please look at all the videos. We have had more than 20, 25 videos devoted just to the topic of matrices. And here, the now one important thing is here we are talking about multiplication by a scalar. We are not talking about matrix multiplication. Please make sure that you understand this difference clearly. So that also forms a vector space. What about functions? So if there is a set of all real valued functions of a single variable that forms a vector space. Now that can be true for derivatives of only up to nth order or derivatives of all order. Similarly set of all complex valued functions of a real variable is also a vector space over the field of complex numbers. 
So these are some important examples. There would be several more that we'll be talking about in the coming videos. Thank you.